You can see strong emotions surround this issue. More than 900 people showed up here to talk about this proposed facility that would be located west of downtown Squim. It is something that has this community divided, and we heard the differing points of view tonight. At Jose's Famous Salsa, they're serving up their specialty and dishing out dinner orders. It's the business Angie Garcia started nine years ago in Squim, a place she chose to raise her family. I think it's really peaceful. I think it's quiet. Um, I think kids are able to go out and play. But right now, she's worried enough to have a petition on her counter and a sign in her store window. Save our Squim. She's concerned about what could be moving in. It's a medically assisted treatment program. Um, and basically what we've heard is um, People will go and get methadone. Those wanting to hear more crowded into this room. Regarding the tribal healing campus that is under development and planned to be constructed on tribal property on 9th Avenue and Squim. The Jamestown Sklalem tribe plans to transform nearly 20 acres into an outpatient treatment facility for opioid addiction. Some of the patients would be bussed in from nearby communities. Clallam County experienced 16 opiate related deaths in 2016. Health officials say opioid use disorder is at a crisis level. We should be proud that this clinic is going to be in our community and that we can that we played a role in combating this horrendous epidemic. Those for it and against it spoke up. My contention is that Swim is the wrong location for a large MAC clinic. And back on this street, the SOS is popping up in more store windows. Save Our Squim is a group Angie is now a part of. Yes, they want to help these people that need to get help, but I feel like their main deal is they don't want it in the heart of Squim. It's a fight over a facility that likely won't end anytime soon. In Squim, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.